There are a few exercises that I don't give people very often, and today we're gonna to talk about number one on that list, and that is the bent over barbell row. So I've kind of walked through how to do this exercise previously, but I wanted to expand on the topic because uh, honestly, I don't think many people are prepared to do it, but I see a lot of people doing it. It seems to be a really good selection for upper back exercise. Like it is the pure, just like I'm retracting my shoulder blades. I'm training that upper back. I'm working my lats as I bring my arms back. Um, and I just don't think many people are prepared for it. So in this video series, in this playlist, I want to run through all the different things I think you should be thinking about in preparing your body for this convoluted, complicated uh, lift. But an, again, a lift that can give you a lot of benefits because it is the the upper back smasher that it is. Um, I don't want you necessarily to be afraid of it, but I do want you to have, you know, a healthy bit of skepticism when you uh, are considering throwing it into your program. So we're just going to start walking through all the things that I think like the, the steps I think you should take in order to learn this movement effectively. Uh, I'm gonna give you different ways to think about the movement so that even if you're mostly there, like a lot of people make it look pretty good, but it doesn't feel right. They don't, they're not really training their upper back. They're just making this a low back exercise um, that's, that's not really preparing them for long, durable training. It's just serving some purpose of filling in that upper back training in your programming. <clears throat> and I don't want it to do that, right? I, if you're going to do it, I want you to get everything you can out of it. Um, so that's going to be the goal of the next few videos.